I could trick you into thinking that I know what I am doing Maybe I could trick you into loving but that ain't the way I move How about a burger? Dude, I have been dying for some food today. And a burger sounds delicious. This is another local insane episode. If you're watching oh. this, you're lucky because today we've been cranking them out. Cranking them out, killing it with these local spots. They're also good. Cafe Marie Jean with Chef Mike. Today, a number six with cheese, a $20 beer fry burger special. Steal of a deal. I feel like a thief. Let's go put it in our bodies. Can't wait. around every corner but nothing dangerous. I'm nervous, I'm excited. This could be the new love of my life. Yeah, you should you should be all those things. All right, should I just tell me if I'm gonna run into anything? Okay, no, Am you're good, you're good, all you're right. good. All right. You're good. Should I look now, are we all right, close this enough? this is your first look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Don't speak. For some moments in life, there are no words. Oh, that's so huge, it looks so amazing. Oh my God. That is, that's a sight to see. That is. Like, what do you even, like, what is that? Is that, that a bird? Is a new thing? experience. Wow. You know how we love the, like, the grill presses? Yeah. Oh. Dude, okay, so places do that, right? Totally they, like, press like it down. He took a brick of yeah. beets and smushed it down where it looked like Play Doh was rolled over. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. Any way you want it. Oh. It was so big. And I go, oh, he's probably gonna double up that thing and flop. Nope, puts the whole thing on like a. I don't even know. It's like spaghetti sauce on noodles. Like it's like that big. That goes. <laughs> I'm proud. I'm proud. All right. Two of the Thursday twenty dollars special beer, beer fries in this immaculate burger acquired jump cut. Where is fancy bread? In the heart or in the head? Cafe Marie Jean, thanks for oh. having us. You know, we've been hitting these local spots and I keep thinking like, there's gotta be, at some point, we're gonna have a dud. And it's just been nothing, we live at the Chicago best life. Chicago's like, people got, let us do this, this is stupid. It's unbelievable, and we get new little surprises like this. Yeah. Beast of a sandwich that I'm about to devour. Hey, about hey. Four and a half, what? Happy Thursday. Good sir. Good sir, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are ready for this. How many Thursdays in the past two years do you think we've had meals together? All of them. I would say roughly too many. 104? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, about. So we're here on Thursday because this burger that we are profiling for you guys is a Thursday burger. This is they a Thursday have... burger. It's a Thursday deal. It's a Thursday only burger, as a matter of yeah, fact. Yeah, yeah. Don't try to come here on a Wednesday. Don't even dunce. do it. Don't even do it. Uh, so this is a burger, the fries, and a beer. They have two different beers on tap, so both are epic. For twenty dollars. Yeah, and it's a good beer too. Like this is off color. They got a little deal going yeah, on. Yeah, they got their little which collab. Which is an awesome deal. Collab. Brewery, so like good stuff all around. C O L L A B. Oh, uh, how long am I gonna have to stare at this sandwich before I eat it? Don't Come call, on, let's go. Don't call please. it a sandwich. It's a hamburger. I'm confused by hunger. <laughs> Everything made in house. The oh, bun, the meat, yeah. the smoky there's, there's jam, a, the tomato jam, a tomato the aioli, jam, the, the aioli. mustard. Corey. Yes, sir. Let's get after let's it. Let's get after. Cheers. It. Cheers. Cafe Marie Jean. Wow. Look at this meat. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that's a wonderful lyric. 
I hope, I hope you guys could hear that. Was that a rap lyric as we took our first mm -hmm. bite that was, was a little inappropriate? Wow. Yeah. Dude, I just want to eat around it first. That's immediately. It. Step one. Immediately the beef. Look at this mm. like thin, they press it down. You saw the B-roll. Mm. You got, the, this homemade bread is stupid. Dude, how many seeds are on this? You get to eat, mm -hmm. you can just eat in a circle <laughs> and get just beef for your first round because there's so much hanging off. It's a genius maneuver. Yeah. Oh, there's jam. Oh, you okay. can just, what is that, the circumference or is that the radius? Mm -hmm. What when you go on the outside of the circle? Just go around. That's Circumference. That's circumference. So you got a bunch of circumference bites first, which is great. Mm -hmm. And then mm. you can and then you can worry about getting to the center. Yeah. Mm. You know? I like that idea. Just eating the meat around it. You do a pre-eat. Pre-eat, yeah. Pre-eat the meat. Pre-eat the meat. Then you get to the goods. Right. And the goods is an incredible combination. Yeah. They an aioli. They aioli. got a mustard. Mustard. They got onions. Onions. They got pickles. Okay. They got the uh, smoky tomato jam. And then obviously you got this the most insane beef. You know what the beef kind of reminds me of? What's that? When we went to Indianapolis. Oh, working men? And, and working men's. Yeah. Yes, it's like this is an beef, incredible burger. This beef has got that like. Look at this beef. It's like look at how tender. Like, wow. There was nothing we've ever mm. had that was like that. Mm -hmm. This is well. How do you make a beef patty different than this and have me, you know, walk it over to your restaurant? I don't think you're gonna have that. This is pretty excellent because it takes that working man's beef, yeah, and it dresses it up mm -hmm. in a beautiful homemade bun with yeah. all those awesome sauces that you talked about. Yeah. So th there you're getting just oh look how dude and it's like medium that rare. Is, it's so by how beautiful thin. I know. Was. I love how it like took mm. you aback. Right? It sure did. You can pick it up. It's still got that like moist juiciness. You can pick it up. Mm -hmm. right, you p picked up your prom date. Dude. She wasn't psyched to be with you. This burger is though, dude. Ha <laughs> I would ask for this bread like at the side of a, a fancy Italian yeah. meal. This is like really good bread. And speaking of nice things, fancy things, they give you these gorgeous little plates I, Corey and I, you know, when has anybody ever handed us an actual napkin like a that? A cloth napkin? <laughs> Where am I in France? I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. And it was only, 20, and it's only twenty dollars for all this. Also, they only do this till they sell out on Thursdays. So don't, I don't be that. trying to come in here mm -mm. ten minutes before they close, like in that movie Waiting, when that guy don't walks in ten minutes before. Don't do it. Don't just wake up and realize I'm a loser. Yeah, man. Don't be that guy. Mm -hmm. You gotta get there early if you want the goods. Right, dude. This beef. I can only keep saying it's stupid, but it doesn't make sense how these restaurants find new ways to do something and they make it better. They're unbelievable. Like I don't want a big fat patty now. I, I feel just like want this. I feel like I always know <coughs> I gotta seed my throat. Get it out, get it out. <coughs> Work it out. There we go. But oh, by the way, we're the only ones on the patio right no. now, so it's okay. But traffic is watching us and judging us. But okay. you know, we're comedians right. in Chicago. We get judged all the time. That's true. Mm. Grew up in my family. You talk about getting judged. This is mm. nothing. Right. Try making a mistake in the Wagner household and uh, mm. being alive till dinner. Oh boy. They would get you pretty early in the day. We're a big family of roasters. We like to roast. Yeah, dude. Is that why Comedy Central is probably going to hire you to be a oh, roast yeah. writer? Because uh, pretty my sure next gig. you can just sit there and berate people mm -hmm. for days. That's McDonald's. All right, second angle, cheese, lettuce, no f***ing meat. Uh, there you go, that's your angle. They're gonna get what they served me, bread sandwich. Garbage. <laughs> zero. I'm sure you guys knew that was coming. All right, I'm going in for the fries. You wanna take this journey with me? Mm-hmm. This looks like a good fry. Looks like a damn good fry. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I go on the, I go aioli. I go naked first. Mm. See, when you're born, you start naked. Then you start dressing yourself. So I'm gonna dress it with a little bit of aioli. Okay. Like follow the circle of mm -hmm. life. And then you're like, you know what? It's good to have two outfits, so I'm gonna go for the ketchup. No, that's <clears throat> next generation. Oh, right, right, right. That's why I get in my first pair of khakis. Because I'm white, I wear a lot of khakis. I knew the hype was there, I've heard it spoken. Victoria, once again, hooking this up. And I'm just starting to realize that she's just pretty much the epitome of dope-ass restaurants. Mm -hmm. And then chefs pop in, it just <laughs> ruins my day. Because I'm never gonna be as good as yep. you. Yeah, you got something new to live up to now. How's it going, Oh my god. Dude, I don't. I know I you were uh, off camera, we were making jokes because he's like, yeah, you know, I'm mm. the first person to ever pair beer with burger. <laughs> Burgers or, or, or cut potato into the, was this like your original recipe of like is this beef done like this ever smash that thin like what are you doing yeah. to beef? how are you making it taste this good oh yeah the smash burger is a, a classic classic just classic I need to start being more classic then. cook yeah. it in lots of butter yeah and get oh, it good yeah. and caramelized yeah. Yeah. good mm. beef and the it's bun is brioche which has like brioche. 60 percent butter now you really are just class, I was saying that's bun class. I could imagine that being like one of those baskets before like a nice Italian dinner like that's really good bread just by itself yeah not even with burger like that's just good bread I just eat that all day yeah. you know how long you guys been open two years Almost three. Almost three. Yeah. So in that three years, what have you noticed most about serving food to Chicagoans with your oh, place? Like, what, what are question. things that really pop out about Chicago-specific eaters? 
Uh, they don't stop drinking? They don't stop drinking. They're not <laughs> afraid to get a little weird with the food. Yeah. Mm. They love burgers. Yeah. Chicagoans love to eat and drink. It's what kind of jam is this again? Smoked tomato. How did, is that like a thing? Or did you make that up? <laughs> it's a thing because it's right there in front of you. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing now. Um, you Wikipedia, it's your name's really on it. Good. Right? Here's what you think you're doing. You you take tomatoes, you, you got nice tomatoes and you smoke them. And you get good vinegar and some sugar and you cook them down for a really long time. Yeah. And then you have this nice tangy, sweet, smoky substance that's basically just barbecue sauce. But and when you smoke like, them, is that with a sativa or an indica? Uh, I prefer an indica. The right. sativa kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies. So now I get it. In <laughs> French, it's Cafe Mary Jane. It's one of those places. There you go. Master Kush. We smoke fish, we smoke meat, we smoke yeah. ducks, we smoke bird, mm -hmm. we mm. smoke but herbs. Hola, hola, hola. Lead and board. Rough average on a Thursday, how many of these you are you cooking up? Uh, probably 30. 30 and 40. Mm -hmm. So I feel even more like I'm in a VIP yeah, club no right now. Yeah, you got you got some of my some of my supplies. The price gotta go up now because you guys took some. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sorry Hopefully, guys, uh, everybody comes down. We apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should have written this up into a contract. We really <laughs> backed ourselves into a corner. <laughs> this is incredible. I'm not even just saying that. Like I had obviously a lot of burgers in my life, and I just can't believe how you've just oh it's almost like not even a burger, it's like completely it's unique crazy. and different. And it just makes me love living in Chicago so much that there's just like stuff that you never cease to be amazed at what no. you find, you know? It's just the best food city. Qualities we always see. Mm -hmm. Excellent quality, everything, ingredients are important, and a little bit of creativity. Yeah. That's so why I feel like every place that we're obsessed with, that's everybody's all about the ingredients being fresh, super fresh, fresh yeah. and making it all yourself. Yeah. How do you like that beer? This is really good too. So it's off color and it's a collab with you guys. So what was that process like? What was the, did they make this for you specifically? Is it only found here? So we made it for an event. They made it for an event that we did where we were paired with them at uh, our friends down the road to go to the bar called Sportsman's Club. Oh yeah, I know Sportsman's and Club. On Sunday nights there. in the summertime they do a barbecue with different chefs and restaurants and we usually do the one around Labor Day. Okay. They wanted to put us together and so the collaboration went like this. We all email each other from our phones, <laughs> and and then they made it all the work. That's awesome. So you weren't, you didn't have boots and gloves on in my head. You're like in there. You're just like they were like, we have this and this and this, and we we're like, I was like, I like my beer to taste like this. <laughs> like, well, you can have this, and I was like, fine, this is delicious. <laughs> That's so funny. It's exclusively here for about maybe two more weeks, and then okay, it's really good beer. You have a beautiful place here. Thank you. I'm like a psycho I live here now. I'm like a crack Do you have any like leases that you're trying to like pass over to me? I could like live upstairs or you something. You guys just have to maintain the umbrellas. That's fine. I can make <laughs> We're home. See you guys later. Thanks, man. Thank you. I feel like I just blacked out for the last 10 minutes. I don't really know what I don't happened. know. Dude, I, How did I feel you like eat I all your fries. I feel like I woke up, everything's gone, and my hands are just covered in juices and are sticky. I'm I looked over at you one point when we were chatting and I went, but where'd the fries go? In my head I said that. You see me take this, I dumped this out like a little guy, like a psycho. Uh-huh. I'm a little monster. Every single thing here, the beer, the french fries. I can't believe, which, by the way, you perfectly everything. salted, excellent. Oh, you got a doubler! You got twins! Twins in the carriage, look at that. That's two fries in one. Luckiest man alive. Sorry you're not me. Damn. Pays to be a leprechaun, bro. <laughs> Pays to be on the front Sean, of the Lucky Charm Sean box. Goes, all right, uh, four billion time I've heard that stupid joke. But also, I'll say this, like, I almost tweeted this the other day, which is really sad, a sad sentence to say. People keep commenting, like, Sean, the former redhead. Oh yeah, your hair is definitely darkening Did up, you, I think. I watched a social media- I read media that you said that your uh, dad had that yeah. same thing happen. Yep, I've I, heard of that. I watched a social media pessimist video that popped up the other day. I was like, oh, this is four years old. Dude, my hair is like bright red. Mm -hmm. You know what? That's a I, good bet, thing. I bet uh, homeless girls got the same. And for anybody new who's watching, that's the uh, don't worry about it, but that's what we call my girlfriend on their show. <laughs> she knows, don't judge it, she's about She doesn't bother. Actually, it was her college nickname, homeless right, girl. Right, right. But yeah, I think she used to be a lot more red. She's got, she's dark, she's got darker hair now, too. Out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat darkening redheads. Oh man, you know what it should be? What? Can you find like five frames of yourself that mm. are getting darker and darker? Is that possible if you like look like space out like once every two months, grab a, a clip from you? Yeah, probably, because I just go to old Facebook. Definitely phone. just go to the All most right. recent and then go to the reddest. I'll do that. Fill in the middle. So out of whoever. five darkening Sean's. Darkening Sean's. How many mm. darkening Sean's do you give this $20 burger fry beer special at Cafe Marie Jean's at Augusta in California? I don't even respect you asking me that question as though you don't already know. Look at me. It's part of the show. <laughs> We're not going to forfeit uh, what true, we do because you want to be not made to look, look like that was heaven. That was one of the most amazing things I've seriously. That's I feel like we keep saying that, but that's only because Victoria keeps taking us to the dopest I know, spots we're in We're very town. Like, Just say five. At five, say it. five, ten, fifteen, twenty. However how you want. That's and give too it that many, many stars. stars. Nobody wants fifteen to twenty <laughs> shots. Right, we'll stick to five. But that was amazing. Seriously, five. <laughs>
There you have it, folks. We love it. $20? And so should you. you and I have gone to McDonald's and gotten two burgers and it was like $16.50. Why would you not yeah, just come seriously. here? And not even nearly as satisfied. Uh uh. Man, I wish. You know what the craziest thing is? Like the mix of flavors. When you're talking about that jam and that aioli and that burger, that, Whoa, that's like. It was a mix of flavors. The flavors, bro. You get those seeds in there. Oh, man. It's like, dude. The smoked uh, meat so must really nice. be uh, dude, so getting to you, dude. Uh huh. This episode I'll made literally back. No another one that I'll be back with my friends. Can I come? Yeah, absolutely. I want you there. I need you there. Please be there with me. You need me to pay? Yeah. Guys, seriously come here. We're not paid to say that. It's just out of this world. Paid zero dollars. Unsponsored, unsponsored, unsponsored. <laughs> Sixers, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. A Friday video, so it's gonna obviously... Just, please, can I just ask if you just cut this? The, this thing I just went went. You I shouldn't have done it. <laughs> now I'm definitely gonna do it a lot. We're no strangers to love. The lamest you make thing editing I, easy. That's the lamest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I'm putting myself in time. <laughs> See you guys tomorrow for a brand new video as Corey leaves. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. Just stay over there. I'm going to finish my fries. I'm in timeout. I'm in timeout. Don't put it on me. I did it wrong. Hi. If I, if I, if I wait any longer, this could hurt. So what? If I, if I, if I tell you how I feel tonight. Parting is such sweet sorrow. <laughs>